Cause losing me is better than losing you. You're finna take my eyeballs and rinse them, cause this here. <laughs> Shout out to Q Bear who could not be here. Yes, shout yes, out to so her presence is not forgotten. Shout out so. to Jones. Today's <clears throat> video, I don't want to do this. Yeah, can I just can y'all just two do the video? Oh, now you're here now. Today's video is losing you by one one oh as it's been pronounced but one oh. Uh if it's all. <laughs> and I'm not ready. Uh, we have been looking at the thumbnails of people who have reacted and if they're not covering up their face, their eyes are red, tears are falling down. We hear this, it's a beautiful song, but it's just the way he did it. And considering everything that he's been through, I feel like this is really gonna take us. So we have been instructed to collect these. Pretty much. So we got these, the price is right. Uh, we'll take um, these. Uh, and so I feel like it's just gonna be a whole bunch of t-shirts on the floor by the time we get done, because I'm not ready. I'm still upset that homegirl uh, tried it. She really tried it. Yeah. She tried it. She and that's and I'm gonna go ahead and put a disclaimer now. It's not that I like I don't care. Not no. My personal pet peeve is when you do people wrong and you think you can get away with it. Right. That is a pet peeve of mine, and I do not like it. So it's not that I don't like the video at all. It's just I cannot believe that someone can be so cruel. And so downright evil to want to bring somebody down over a lie. Especially so, something that was done. Excuse my face, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about ready to. But you know what? We are happy on the side that he did not let this get him down. Yeah. Right. He is still living his dream by being an entertainer. That was she thought. I mean, she thought. She, thought, she, tried, you really she thought. tried it. She tried it. She, Felicia thought she she tried it, but you know what? Girl, Felicia. The whole gang was here. I'm telling you, you mess with one, you might as well go ahead and get ready for a whole pack of wolves to follow behind. So I am so happy that he's able to still make music right. and stuff. Uh, even if he is uh, a solo artist, he will always be a part of Monster X, no matter what. But we will also support you as a solo artist as well. And I don't appreciate the fact that he hang upside down with no shirt. But you know what? It look like you're hot. My back will be screaming. I'm like, y'all the blood rush to my head, man. Say, y'all need to hurry up and take the picture. <laughs> I'm going to be putting my hands up. Y'all going to flip this photo because it's just a bit too much. <laughs> That's like it's hot. It's gone. I don't want to do this. I'm just going to All right, so. Start it up. Jesus, that look like it. Crying, bro. Don't be doing it.
Mm, the thoughts. It hurts. I know this video is not supposed to evoke anger it's, and it's really not but what's getting me is that you tore away this man from something that he literally saw as his heart because they went on this show and this lady basically told him you would rather be hurt than for your fans to be hurt everybody knew how protective everyone was protective of of mama baby but one whole for a man to cry and say thank you for allowing me to be famous you're going through something on the inside and so for you off of a lie to tear this man away from something he built his life up on and now it's a beautiful song but it's not fair that he has to make this song it's not, it's not fair it's a beautiful song yes it is but you were wrong period and i'm sorry <coughs> karma is a female dog Good job. and when she comes a barking and you get that behind bit don't ask for help because you the one that brought it upon yourself I'm proud of one hoe. He's doing a great thing. He did not let this get him down. Uh -huh. You don't. You just don't do nobody like that. Like, how would you feel if somebody did you like that? You built your dreams up on something, and somebody just so petty that they come up and make up something to ruin your career, and then now you got all this going. But what one hoe need to realize is that he he never affected us. We was always there with him, and he ain't gonna never lose us. Exactly. And he's he's so protective of us, and I love that because that shows people that you really care about your fans. But I tell him, don't don't worry about it. My baby's got you. That's it. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it so that way I can I can probably step out this video because I don't want to seem like a little punk or whatever, crying, whatever. Because I know y'all two ain't crying, so y'all the OG. Yeah, I was I was almost there. <laughs> I know. The no, I, was, I watched the angry I, I was crying. crying. I was holding it in, but I think it's certain parts in the song that really got to me. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, these two know, but for those of you who've been with us for a while, um, and for those of you who don't know, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I'm going to try to make it real simple and sweet and short. I have been with one whole, I have been with Monster X even when it was on No Mercy. When they didn't know. They pretty much had to fight for their spot, whether we gonna make it or I, basically saying that I can't go home empty handed. I have to do this. So, and it's like, I was getting to know everybody. And when I saw one hoe, he struck me. I don't know why. And I know this man don't know me. We haven't met physically. He's 
in another country. He's thousands of miles away from me, whatever you want to call it. Because I know some people out there be like, you ain't never met da da da. Miss me with that. We can fight on another day about that. But something struck me with one hoe. And I have been close to him ever since then. I don't know if y'all remember, but go back and watch No Mercy. It was the episode where he was basically um, telling the story of his mother that his mother didn't want him to come home and see the red tags on stuff and that struck a chord with me lord jesus that struck a chord with me because i remember being little and mom trying to find something for us to eat and she didn't want her kids to know that we were running out of food and thank God that we were surrounded by people who prayed and knew that we needed help and you know that was our family and helped us and stuff like that. But the way that one host mother didn't want him to know the same way that our mother didn't want us to know. I mean, uh, I don't really remember. She doesn't remember because I think she was still a baby at the time, but I do remember that. And now that I, I'm older, I do remember, you know, mom pretending like she wasn't hungry, you know, to say that we should eat and stuff like that. It was because she was trying to feed us. And she didn't want us to know that we wasn't going to have anything. And that's why I feel like I should repay her for that. And I don't ever want to come to her empty handed. And so that's the same way I connected with one hoe because he was like, I can't go home. I have to do this. I want to do this because this is my dream. But also I'm doing this to help my family because I can help them in their time of need by being a singer and, you know, stuff like that. And just he he may be big in stature in stature if that's if that's the word I'm, I'm my my brain is everywhere right now but he is so gentle so soft so sweet anytime a man gets on the ground on stage you came we came to see you anytime you get on stage and bow before us and say thank you for letting me be a singer like that is and that's no. something you say to God. That's something right. that you say to God, right? And it's just like, I've been, even though we haven't met, which we will one day, because I'm putting it out in the air. Shoot, I feel like if other groups and people can put stuff out in the air, I'm going to put it out in the air. When I meet one hoe, I'm telling you, the biggest hug is going to last more than five minutes. And I don't care. Freaking tell his managers to get ready. Tell the fans to get ready. I don't care. Because I am I feel like I love all months, like the group of Monster X, and even, even, even though he's a solo artist. I'm very protective of one hoe. I'm very protective. I, I pray for everybody, but I constantly pray for him because everybody knows if this really would have gotten him down and he wasn't able to come up from this, God knows what would have happened. Because when all this stuff is going down, the mind goes everywhere. And that's why when this stuff started to happen, I said, y'all, pray for his mind. Pray for his mental state because this can make a person so scared and so withdrawn that they can't live through that. They don't want to live through that. And God knows what could happen. And that terrified me the most. Because with the way, you know, people have been going, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, with the way people have been going because they can't stand their lives, they can't stand or face whatever that they're going through. I did not want to wake up and I saw that. Cause I'm telling you, I would have been raging. Y'all, Johnny would have been off of YouTube for a while. I have been through enough of those, if you get my drift. I have been through enough of those. And not with just K-pop singers, but with singers, actors, dancers, shoot, even family members, whatever. Um, so, this right here, when someone says, I would rather go or get hurt than for you to get hurt. So, basically, he's saying he doesn't care what happened to him. Just as long as we okay. And it's like, how can we be okay if something happened to you? And I know you mean he means it out of love, but I'm just saying like, ooh, yeah, that line tore me up. Like I said, the more I watch the video, the angrier I get because I don't. I just I don't. I understand that you have cruel people in this in this world. I get that, but at the same doggone time, you was that eager to bring somebody down to your level just to get gratification. Anytime you you find happiness and watching somebody fall you don't realize that you're going right behind them you do not realize that and when you fall then you want somebody to help but it don't work like that that's that my whole thing that's my whole thing about her 
Because like I said, and I repeat, I love the song. Don't get me wrong. The song is beautiful. The song is beautiful. You can tell he took time to write it. Absolutely. But it's not fair that he had to write this song in the context that he wrote it. That's not fair. And we all knew at the end that that was Bum Bebe he was standing before. Mm -hmm. And we still cheering for you, boo boo. It ain't to, it's to the end. You thought you planted a seed of evil, but it's working out for his good. It's going yeah. to work out for his good. But you are going to reap. I just want to say. You like it. I just want to say to you, one whole, I congratulate you. I'm so happy that you're still living your dream. You're going to be an awesome entertainer. I mean, you already are, but even, you know, since this is your starting point as a solo artist you you are amazing and we know it's only gonna go up from here we're gonna have your back whether we are because we're both we'll always be mom baby and we are how you pronounce it we is it weenie i don't know weenie. i hope yeah, i say it i hope i say it right i hope i say it whatever right. the fandom I, is his fandom it. name i haven't heard him say it so i'm not sure i'm sorry if i mispronounce it but we are his fans and I'm so happy that he has people behind him. Um, we did read that he said that he worked with uh, producers and a few people from the UK and the US. Um, so I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Um, I'm pretty sure and I know everyone loved this song. We have seen the thumbnails of different reactors and stuff. And so I congratulate you. I know um, he did say that today is very real for him. It's very exciting. It's amazing. He's doing good. I'm happy for you and I say the first concert, the first performance, whatever, let's all stand up and give a standing ovation because this is a true testimony of going, of coming through. He yes. came out because normally people with withdraw, they retire, they don't do music no more, you don't hear from her for a while, but the fact that he is still making music, he's still going and stuff like that and also he has his brothers from Monster X to support, that's just, that's amazing. Right. That, yeah. that is just amazing and because I know he would do it for them and the fact that he would rather withdraw to protect them so that way they can keep going is very admirable and that is just nothing but love like that's literally it's like a bunny inside of a muscle bodysuit like i don't i don't i don't get it right. i don't get it so let's just keep supporting him i love it um will you hear it too mm -hmm. you go ahead when you get ready oh, to say something. i was just gonna say another thing that pissed me off is like not only was it her saying that but you had people who didn't even really know one whole like that or who did who was doing the same thing that was put him down even more saying mm -hmm. oh we doing too much we should stop finding it ain't worth it but my question is the same people that are saying that where y'all at now because i'm not seeing none of y'all like, keep, keep that same energy sis because you was talking all of that but now that he back you want to go hush mouth like no or either they want to be one of them silent supporters right like because if that would have happened to your favorite celebrity or your group you couldn't beat you on twitter saying oh my god we need to get him back and i would have been sitting on the side do we now but do we is that is that something we should fight for is, or is, is it, it just, that important i guess not but now y'all was calling us clowns and stuff okay well now we all in the circus because he back exactly and so he running it so sit down that that's what made me mad because I'm like y'all y'all running y'all thumbs and y'all mouth nowadays saying all this but now y'all quiet because y'all don't bit off more than you can chew because home dude you. is back and can't nobody stop that so for all y'all talkers out there yeah. that just like to do that keep on because he gonna keep going up that's that's yeah. all and that's I don't, period I don't think people realize how much courage it takes to keep going right that takes no i'm saying that takes courage that takes such a mind because when you hit that point in your life where it seems like everything's just rolling downhill it's try hard for you to try to grab a rock to grasp onto and say i can still make it to the top that is hard to do right. but he did that he did not allow this to get him down now i'm sure he wants to be back with your brothers mm -hmm. i'm sure he do but at the same time, he's still pushing and he's still going for it. So my message is what you thought was going to turn out to be a bad thing was completely turned around. It's up to you how you turn that situation around. Right. You can let it put you down. You can let it take you out. But if you want to make better, then you make better. So one who did it. He Indeed. did that. I'm so proud of him. But that's all right. That's all right. He all right. Well, we still rock with you. We still in the game together. We still, <laughs> we still in it. We still on support. 
we no see matter it. what, both parties, we're gonna support you and Monster Eat. And there better not be a collab. Cause all right, baby. <laughs> You already know at that concert with both light sticks. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hit it up. Hit it up. Hit sure. it up. But yeah, go ahead. Hmm? Go ahead. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, yeah, support One Hope. Uh, we're proud of you. We can't wait to see performances. We can't wait just for for anything that you do. We're so happy, um, and we thank you for keeping in check on us and stuff. Um, so yeah, we did use, well I used the tissue, the, 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 the tissue, but um, yeah, I, I'm gonna go ahead and go before I start crying again, because I really don't want to start crying again, because then I have to do the ugly, times two ugly face. Mm -hmm. So uh, keep God first, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, be strong, we can make it through this, live your life, and all those red crumbs, and we will see you in the next video. Support my hope!